Yankari. This game reserve is a large wildlife park located in Bauchi State in northeastern Nigeria. It has a massive expanse of land stretching about 2,244 square kilometers or 866 square miles and is home to several natural warm water springs as well as a wide variety of wild plants and animals. Its location in the heartland of the West African savanna makes it a unique way for tourists and holidaymakers to watch wildlife in its natural habitat. It is believed to be home to the remaining elephants and lions in Nigeria, a heaven for endangered species with forest rangers always watching and protecting these animals. It is under the management of the Bauchi State Government. The Yankari Game Reserve is reputable for having a rich flora and fauna museum that houses hundreds of species samples for visitors to view and learn about. A tour guide at the museum gives us an extensive and intense explanation about the values these historic pieces or animals hold. In a group of lions, they spent about four to three hours in a DVD. That's the hours they spend, three to four hours in a day feeding. And the rest of the 20 to 21 hours, they use it only for resting. That's how they live their lives. And also, in a, in a pride of lions, so to say, we have about um, a single male, that's a matured male, two to three females, matured ones. Then we have five to six juveniles, which are just younger lions. Yes, ma. Then next week, we have the leopard, also carnivorous animal, uh, feeds generally on flesh. And most of the carnivorous animals, you hardly see them. We refer to them as nocturnal animals. You see them during the night. They hardly come out. There's the fox head, the cheetah, one of the fastest land animals that we have. Can run about 113 kilometers per hour. Has an acceleration of over from zero to 100. And also, it can live about 12 years in the wild and over 20 in captivity. That's like in a zoo. It can live up to 20 years old. But when you keep it like in the Yankari game is that because of the activities they go, hunting, other stuff, you understand. So the lifespan is limited to 12 years. And also next we have the civet cat, uh, which is also part of the cat families that we have here, more advanced than the normal cats we know. Then we have the African wild cat, genet cat. Also here we have hyenas, which are classified into two sections. We have the spotted hyena here, and that's the striped hyena over there. So these particular hyenas, they feed, uh, they are known, hyenas are known as scavengers. They hardly kill animal on their own. Unless if an animal kills or a weaker, a weaker animal, they devour it. That's how they live their lives. Yeah, and also here, these are items all confiscated from poachers. Poachers are people who come inside the reserve, kill animals or cut trees illegally. So it's a crime to the Bauchi State Government and also to the Yankari Game Reserve. When you are caught doing that, you face the law of the Bauchi State Government. So you can see different them, we call it a tobo, kantara trap, and also a den gun here. The different kinds of them that they use in poaching activity. Then here you can see the pictures of our rangers. The recent pictures of our rangers actually, they are the ones protecting the reserve from any harm. So as we were in the bush for safari, they are presently inside. Some of them, you will see, you will see them. So they are doing protecting the reserve from any harm. Then also here, you can see a picture of them. Years back, these two people are put out here. So they were captured, they are taken to the court at al Khaleri to go and face the law of the government for poaching activity. Then also up here, we have these uh, primate species in Yankari Game Reserve. 
which include the tantalus monkey. We refer to these as the shy monkey because you hardly see them. Then the dog-faced baboon, which are called the area boys. They disturb people a lot, they can break through your car, open the door of your room just to make sure they get food that they want to eat. So when you come to Yankari, from the first gate, there's a rule that don't feed any animal here. No matter how generous you think you are, it's advised you don't feed any animal. Because once you feed them, they get used to your food. Now they see Mr. B very weak, they can go actually collect it and eat it. And once they grow, they are, they are getting wiser every day. They are primates. So this is the skull of the baboons also. This is for the water. Okay, then here we have the hippopotamus. This is the skull of the hippo with few bones of the hippo also. You can see the pictures over there. The hippo is a semi-aquatic animal and also an omnivorous animal. Feeds on small insects and also um, uh, grasses. So that's why it's known, noticed as the omnivorous animal. The next is we have the reptiles. And then uh, we have the poof adder, spitting cobra, African rock, rock python, Nile crocodile, tortoise, alligator. And lastly, we have the royal python over there. As you can see, that's known as the royal python. And also, one unique thing about the poof adder is that the poof adder, it doesn't lay egg like the normal reptiles does. It lays egg in the stomach, the egg will hatch inside, and it releases the young ones alive. Then here also is an alligator. You can see it's a real one, not a rubber. It's not artificial. It's real. You can see you dissect, remove the internal organs. Like uh, this one, we use cotton wool to fill it. Then here we have the antelopes, the porcupine, the bush box. This is the picture of the bush box. Yeah, the bush box, these are the females. The males do have horns and also they live in thick bushes. So you hardly see them in a very large group. You can only see two, one, two, one. That's how you see them. Then here we have the water box. This is the picture of the water box. This is the male water box. It has horn and the female don't have horn too. They are hornless. You can see the picture of the females here. Actually, they don't have horns. And this is the head of the male water box, as you have seen. And the skin is up here. And also the water box. When we have the skin of a water box like this, we collect it. And so after cutting it, separating it from the flesh, we apply a chemical known as borax so that it will stop the skin from smelling. And then a chemical which is known as formalin is applied to preserve it so that it doesn't, what? It doesn't decay. It can stay for over uh, more than 20, 25 years there. It doesn't decay. Yes, sir. Then next to it, uh, as I was saying, the water box are polygamous in nature, so to say. You can see a single male with over 15 to 20 females. <laughs> yeah, so they are polygamous in nature. Yeah, this is the head, the skull of the African buffalo. A very aggressive animal. Very aggressive. Here are the carcass, the famous scapula lower jaw containing the teeth. Then we have the skull of the uh, elephant. Then here is one of the rib cage of the elephant. Burukun already. So you can see how big or large an elephant can be. Just looking at the legs, you know that an elephant is not a small animal. A very, very big and large animal. Then here also, here in Yankari, we have two indirect ways of identifying animals in Yankari game reserve. Either by their footprints or by their droppings. Some people refer to it as the feces. So these are droppings of some few animals here, which is, uh, as a mood of identification. When you are inside the bush, when you see a dropping of an animal, you be okay, is this an uh, antelope, herbivore, or a reptile? Or which animal is it? Uh, it's a mahogany tree known as Caia senegalensis. It was planted in 1972 by a zoologist known as Stephen Pond. This tree um, was planted before this museum was built, actually. And the only reason the, uh, the tree is still standing is because of the Y shape. You can see it from here to here is in Y shape, representing the first alphabet of Yankari game is So this is the reason why the tree is left here. And on top of these three, you can see different items. They are also confiscated from poachers, like a camouflage, they are bags, a cap, charm, different species of them that they use, spear, then guns. Then here we have birds in Yankari. Um, we have about 350 different species of birds in Yankari game reserve. From one piece to another, our attention was not divided as everything he said or showed was as interesting as the last one. Hi.
The Ankari Game Reserve is blessed with many historic attraction sites, ranging from warm water springs to martial caves and underground wells. The most popular amongst tourists is the Wiki Warm Spring. The Wiki Warm Spring is the biggest of the four warm springs in Yankari, which have come about as a result of geothermal activity below the park. The water is coming uh, out from that um, cave, you know, under a rock, under sandstone rock. Um, what will interest you is that you know more than four million liters of water is coming out with high pressure day in day out from that cave that you are seeing there. And so that is the Wiki Warm Spring unique. The game reserve is not fenced. Well it is very very big. 2244 square kilometers is big but it is not fenced and you have communities you know um, surrounding it so the best way to manage it is by the use of the ranger force okay you know that is the law enforcement uh, aspect. Exactly, yeah. um, usually we have what we call game patrol post okay you know around the communities in key areas that are in most cases um vulnerable yeah you know to the to um encroachment of uh, poachers. poachers and so yes. on so we have rangers stationed there and they will now get um, information. information and report back to camp okay so that rangers can be deployed to, to go and where tackle we think the there situation. is uh, danger yes okay mm. the spring is mother nature's answer to a spa with a consistent temperature of 31 degrees celsius which boasts crystal clear waters and flows into a beautiful lake which is 200 meters long by 10 meters across and nearly 2 meters deep, making it the perfect spot for a swim. <laughs> to further portray the importance of coexistence amongst humans and wildlife, the game reserves residential and office buildings here have baboons and warthogs freely roaming around them. Area boys, as most people here call the baboons, are notorious for stealing drinks and food from tourists if left unattended. A fun spot for them, as most tourists would often laugh it off or even offer them more food and drinks. The Yankari Game Reserve was discovered in 1956, but it only became public in 1962 just two years after Nigeria gained her independence. But right about now, we are going into the forest to see the wildlife and how they have been protected and conserved for many years. Our safari tour guide gives us a brief overview of how the Yankari Game Reserve came about and what to expect on the safari. We head into the forest with hopes of seeing wildlife in their natural habitat. Fortune is trying to really hamper the reserve. We have our rangers, they are mobile. Now they are watching us, a mobile team, moving, moving, moving. If there is any, this kind of report, so they quickly send it to the office. The people, monitoring unit will go and handle it. Rebayashi is seasonal. Well, River Gaji is the complex, permanent and strong river that holds the reserves all year around, providing sufficient food to the community of wildlife and also the plants. We are now at the waterfall. You can observe the background, the nature of plants. So you had this noise, sir? Shh. I don't know whether you had... Yes. It's water falling. It's water falling. It is the water falling. One might think it's just leaves making noise. Uh -huh, making noise. Oh. <laughs> it's water falling. Pay attention. Pay attention. Definitely. 
And you can observe from there, see how the water is moving. Yes. From the river? Yeah, from the river that we just across the bridge here. Okay. We see the cut of the gold erosion. Big gorge. It traveled for more than 50 kilometers in the reserve. After hours touring through thick forest, it was time for us to head back as we couldn't see any wildlife. Our tour guide said the animals had retreated very deeply into the forest because it's the rainy season. We drive back to the camp, happy to have gone on the safari, but sad because we couldn't find any wild animals. The Yankari Game Reserve continues to serve as a safe place for endangered animals to thrive. And just like every other game reserve out there, the responsibility to ensure that these animals do not go extinct is a serious business. Mm -hmm.